After many, many thousands of births, when one comes to understand that he is an eternal servant of Krishna, one can deliver others from this universe. If one simply continues to think that he is an eternal servant of Krishna, even without performing any other process of devotional service, he can attain full success, for simply by this feeling one can perform all nine processes of devotional service. Moda Dhrumadvip is for the cultivation of Dasyam, service to the Lord. Moda Dhrumadvip Chara Charane Drukdrishya Modudrumashri, my dear legs, please walk in the forest of Modudrumadvipa. My dear eyes, please behold the form of Sri Modudrumadvipa. Jihve Gaurasthala Gunaganan Kirtaya Shrotru Grihyat. My dear tongue, please describe the multitude glories of the forest of Modudrumadvipa where Lord Gauranga and his devotees perform pastimes. Gaura Tavya Bhaja Parimalam Grihnat My dear nose, please smell the fragrance emanating from the forest of Modudrumadvipa. Gatram Tvam Yasmin Gaura Ranya Lutham Pulakitam O limbs of my body, feeling in great ecstasy, chanting the names of Gauranga, roll on the floor of this forest of Modudrumadvipa. This is how Navadvipa Shataka glorifies Modudrumadvipa. Today, our Parikrama is in Modudrumadvipa. Lord Nityananda describes the history of Modudrumadvipa to Jiva Goswami and other devotees when they came here for Navadvipa Parikrama. Sri Nityananda Prabhu said, in the previous Kalpa, Lord Ramachandra with Mother Sita and Lakshmana had come to Navadvipa Dham and stayed here in Modudrumadvipa. Once, Lord Ramachandra, looking at effulgent Navadvipa Dham, he smiled and seeing him smiling, Mother Sita asked Lord Ramachandra, My dear Lord, what is the reason behind your smile? Then Lord Rama replied, O oh my Devi, wife Sita, 
in Kali Yuga. I will appear in this Navadvipa Dham as Gauranga. And in that form, I will distribute the holy name, perform Sankirtana and chant and dance in great ecstasy. In this way, I will deliver the people of Kali Yuga. And whoever watches my pastimes, they will all be liberated. By hearing this, Mother Sita became ecstatic. And Lord Rama revealed his Gauranga form to Mother Sita and Lakshmana. Because Lord Rama gave pleasure to Mother Sita and Lakshmana under a banyan tree where their cottage was there and this discussion was going on, this place got the name Modudruma Dvipa. Modaha means the pleasure, Druma means a tree. Because Lord Rama revealed his Gauranga form and gave pleasure to Sita and Lakshmana, the place got the name Modudruma Dvipa. This Modudruma Dvipa represents Dasyam aspect of Navavida Bhakti. Let us visit the holy places in Modudruma Dvipa and hear the pastimes of Gauranga and his beloved devotees. The 17th incarnation of Lord Vishnu, as found in the Bhagavatam, was Srila Vyasadeva, the son of Parashara Muni and his wife Satyavati. Vyasadeva's mission was to divide the one Veda into various branches so that people who are less intelligent can more easily understand them. He is the literary incarnation of the Lord and the author of the Vedas and because of his tapasya, Vyasa was also called Badarayana. This holy place in Modudruma Dvipa is the Shripat of Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur, the sacred place where Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur's house used to be. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur is an incarnation of Srila Vyasadeva. Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya Vyasa Rupaya Vishnave Namo Vai Brahma Nidhaye Vasishthaya Namo Namaha. Vyasadeva was a literary incarnation of Lord Vishnu, Shaktyavesha avatar of Lord. And that Vyasadeva appeared as Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami informs about this in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Shri Krishna Leela Bhagavate Kahe, Shri Vyasadeva, Chaitanya Leela Ravyasa, Shri Dasa Vrindavana, Shri Veda Vyasa compiled the pastimes of Krishna in Srimad Bhagavatam. Saint Vyasadeva compiled the pastimes of Lord Gauranga in Sri Chaitanya Bhagavata. It is because of the mercy of Srila Vrindavandas Thakur in the form of Chaitanya Bhagavata, today the whole world is hearing the glorious pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Vrindavandas Thakur is the son of Sri Narayani Devi, who is the niece of Srivas Pandit. As young child, Narayani Devi used to reside at the house of Srivas Pandit and be a part of many wonderful pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. She would accept the Mahaprasadam from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every day, as a result of which she received the boon of having a son like Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur, who would glorify Lord Chaitanya in Chaitanya Bhagavata. Narayani Chaitanyera Uchishta Bhajana Because she received the Uchishta Mahaprasadam Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Tara Garbha Janmila Shri Dasa Vrindavana Shri Vrindavan Das was born in the womb of Shri Narayani Devi. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur is the disciple of Shri Nityananda Prabhu. He would reside here and worship 
his beloved deities Shri Gaur Nithai. Today, we can have the darshan of the deities Gaur Nithai personally worshipped by Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur in this temple built by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur in Modudrumadvipa. Let us pray to Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur that we may get to hear the glorious pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and we may understand some of them. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has stated, A natural sentiment, compassion, finds its highest expression in the works of devotees of the Lord. The tenderness of heart experienced toward Krishna is known as Bhakti. All jivas are servants of Krishna. When one experiences tenderness of heart toward them, it is known as Daya, compassion. Therefore, Compassion is included within Bhakti. This place in Modudrima Dvipa used to be the residence place of Sri Vasudeva Datta, a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya. He had captured the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with his transcendental qualities. Sri Vasudeva Datta would spend all of his earnings to Lord Chaitanya without any reservation, without saving anything for himself. Once, Lord Chaitanya called all of his devotees and told, My dear devotees, please listen to me carefully. This body of mine belongs to Vasudeva Datta. I will be sold to whomever he sells. And I repeat this truth thrice. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu confirmed how Vasudev Datta was so dear to him. Vasudev Datta was an ocean of compassion and mercy. Once he came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and told, Jivera Dukkha Deki Mara Rudaya Bidare. My dear Lord, seeing the sufferings of the people in this world, my heart is bleeding. I cannot see them taking repeated birth and death. They are not having Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Prema. They are suffering in this material world. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, it is because of their sinful reaction. Then Vasudev Datta said, Jivera Sarva Papa Prabhu Deha Morashire. If it is because of their sin, then please transfer all of their sin unto me. I will suffer on their behalf. I will be in the material world for millions and billions of years. I will suffer. But please liberate them. Take them back to spiritual world. Let them be happy. This was the heart of Sri Vasudeva Datta. By seeing all these great qualities, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made that statement that I belong to Vasudeva Datta. I am the property of Vasudeva Datta. Sri Vasudeva Datta's quality is reflected in all the Vaishnava Acharyas like Srila Prabhupada. These Vaishnava Acharyas, when they see people suffer in the material world, they feel for it. Vaishnava Paradukha Dukhi, they always think and they always perform those activities that benefit the suffering mankind in this world. 
Srila Prabhupada traveled in his old age to an unknown country in order to give Krishna consciousness, which is the only panacea for the material world suffering. Let us offer prayer to Sri Vasudeva Datta so that we may understand the importance of Vaishnavas' blessings and their association and always remain in their shelter. serene and quiet place in Modudruma Dvipa used to be the ashram of a great devotee Saranga and his disciple Murari Thakur. Both of them were great devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Once Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Saranga, it must be very difficult for you to take care of your ashram, serve the deities and join me in Sankirtana. Why don't you accept some disciples? Hearing these words, Saranga replied, My dear Mahaprabhu, I don't find any qualified disciples. Hence, I accept no one. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Whomever you accept, they will become qualified. Hearing these words, Saranga replied, My dear Lord, whomever I meet first tomorrow, I'll accept them as my disciple. Next day, Saranga woke up from his bed, went to river Ganga to take his bath. There he saw a dead body of a boy floating in the river. Remembering the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he brought the dead body onto the bank and recited the Diksha Mantra in the ears of the dead body. As soon as he recited the Diksha Mantra, the dead body regained life and the boy woke up. He said, My dear sir, yesterday during my Upanayana Samskara, the thread ceremony, a black snake bit me, after which I do not know what happened. And both of them came to the ashram. Meanwhile, the news reached and the parents of Murari, the boy who regained his life, and his friends and relatives, all of them came here, the house of Saranga Murari, and they said, Yesterday, after you were bitten by the black snake, no remedy could save you, because we cannot burn the dead body which was bitten by the black snake. We had to place you in the river Ganga. Now that you have regained your life, Please come with us to home. Then, Murari, who was determined to serve the lotus feet of his guru, Sri Saranga, he denied and he said, I will stay here, continue worshipping my spiritual master and the beloved deity Sri Radha Gopinath. This bakula tree behind me stands testimony for all these wonderful pastimes at this place of Saranga's ashram. There is a small temple with deities worshipped by Saranga and Murari Thakur, Shishi Radha Gopinath Temple. This bakula tree, which was part of all these pastimes, was dying. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here, he embraced this tree chanting the holy names and the tree again started blossoming leaves and flowers. These are wonderful pastimes and this beautiful place teaches us lesson the importance of spiritual master and receiving diksha from spiritual master just like receiving diksha hearing the mantra from the spiritual master regained the life of a dead boy and hearing the holy names from sri chaitanya mahaprabhu this bakula tree regained its life likewise let's pray that May Lord Chaitanya bless us 
may murari and saranga thakur bless us so that our dead consciousness may revive by associating with these great vaishnavas These deities of Sri Radha Govinda were worshipped by a great devotee Shivananda Sena. Their lordships Sri Sri Radha Gopinath were personally served by Saranga. Sri La Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur carried this beautiful Nitai Gauranga deities on an elephant for the first ever Gauramandala Parikrama. These big deities in the altar are called Sri Radha Madan Gopal and were worshipped by Vasudeva Datta an associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu This place in Modudruma Dvipa is called Vaikunthapura. Shri Nityananda Prabhu brought his devotees to this part of Modudruma Dvipa and narrated the history of this glorious land. Once Narada Muni came to Kailasa. He was chanting the names of Lord Narayana. As he entered Kailasa, he saw Lord Shiva engaged in discussing krishna katha with his associates in great ecstasy he was roaring the names of lord shri krishna seeing shiva and his associates narada muni paid his obeisances lord shiva asked narada muni where is he coming from narada muni replied i'm coming from vaikuntha just now i heard lord narayana describing a confidential dham called navadvipa dham he said this dham is so glorious that lord himself will appear in his confidential form as gauranga and perform enchanting pastimes giving this information narada muni came to navadvipa dham and he visited the places in navadvipa and he was captivated by the beauty of navadvipa When he came to Modudruma Dvipa in Navadvipa Mandala he was thinking will i get darshan of my lord of Vaikuntha Vaikuntha Natha while he was desiring so lord of Vaikuntha Shriman Narayana with all his Vaikuntha opulence appeared here and gave Vaikuntha darshan to Narada Muni because Narada Muni saw Vaikuntha here this place in Modudruma Dvipa is named Vaikunthapura after this Narada Muni came to Dwaraka to have the darshan of Lord Shri Krishna as he was beholding the beautiful form of Lord Shri Krishna Krishna transformed himself into Gauranga form Lord Narayana seeing the form of Gauranga felt great ecstasy he paid obeisances again and again he chanted the names of the lord gauranga lord krishna again transformed himself into shamasundara form and instructed narada that the advent of my form as gauranga has come immediately go and inform all the devatas especially lord shiva 
hearing these words of Krishna, Narada Muni immediately came and informed Lord Shiva about the advent of Gauranga very soon in Kali Yuga. Then Narada Muni again came to Navadvipa Dham. When he visited this Modudruma Dvipa, he saw Lord Gauranga sitting on a Ratna Simhasana with all Vaikuntha opulence, being glorified with so many devotees. Narada Muni was desiring. He was feeling, will I see the form of Lord Gauranga? That's how the Lord had revealed this Gauranga sitting on a Ratna Simhasana form to Narada Muni in this place called Vaikunthapura. And Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu informed Narada Muni very soon he will make appearance and Narada Muni will also appear as Srivasa Pandit to assist Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu in his pastimes in Navadvipa Dham. Later, Sri Ramanuja Acharya, a great Vaishnava Acharya in Sri Sampradaya, he came to visit Jagannath Puri. There, Lord Jagannath gave his darshan and told Ramanuja Acharya about Navadvipa Dham. He said, my dear devotee Ramanuja, you must know that my confidential dham, which is the essence of all the dhams, is Navadvipa dham. This is non-different from Goloka Vrindavana, where Lord Krishna resides. This is non-different from Vaikuntha, where my Narayana form resides. And Navadvipa dham is the essence of all the dhams. Rangasthala, Tirupati, Yadavachala, they're all partial expansion of Navadvipa Dham. Hearing these words from Jagannath, Ramanujacharya asked Lord Jagannath, My dear Lord, why this Dham and why your form of Gauranga is so confidential? Lord Jagannath explained to Ramanujacharya about Channakala Avatara, another Gaura Tattva. Hearing these words, Ramanuja was so excited, he came to Navadvipa Dham. Here, he saw the beautiful Navadvipa Dham, captivating forest where Gauranga Mahaprabhu will perform the beautiful pastimes of Sankirtana and other activities. When he was visiting Navadvipa Dham, he came to Modudruma Dvipa. When he reached Modudruma Dvipa, Lord Gauranga gave his darshan, spoke to Ramanujacharya and he told him, you continue to spread the glories as Narayana and Bhakti to Lord Vishnu. I will appear as Gauranga and spread Gauranga Bhakti, Krishna Prema to everyone. Ramanujacharya was so excited, he immediately wanted to distribute the Gauranga's name and glorify Navadvipa Dham to everyone. Fearing Ramanujacharya might prematurely reveal Navadvipa Dham and Gauranga's pastimes and holy name before the advent of Gauranga, Vishwaksena tricked Ramanujacharya, brought him to this Vaikuntha Pura and showed him Lord Narayana with all Vaikuntha opulence. Seeing his beloved Lord Narayana with all Vaikuntha opulence, Ramanujacharya was pacified. He revived his Dasya Bhakti again and travelled to Kurmakshetra from this Vaikunthapura. These are the glorious pastimes of Vaikunthapura. Vaikunthapura is also the birthplace of Srimati Lakshmi Priya, the wife of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Knowing the advent of her beloved Lord Narayana in Navadvipa Dham as Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Sri Devi, Lakshmi Devi came here, Vaikunthapura. This is called Vaikunthapura because this portion of Navadvipa contains the Vaikuntha, the opulence of Vaikuntha. Hence, Sri Devi appeared here as Sri Lakshmi Priya. Here is the temple in Vaikunthapura of Modudrumadvipa where Gaura Lakshmi Priya are worshipped. And there is Jagannath Baldev Subhadra deities because when Narada came here, he saw Lord Krishna and Dwaraka present here. Hence, there is Jagannath Baldev Subhadra temple as well and the Nitai Gauranga. These are the wonderful, captivating pastimes of Supreme Lord 
ഇൻ മോദുദ്രുമ ദ്വീപ ഓഫ് നവദ്വീപ മണ്ഡലം ലെറ്റ്സ് പ്രേ ടു ദ ലോർഡ് ആൻഡ് ബിഗ് ഫോർ ഹിസ് മെർസി place in modudruma dwipa is called mahatpura a place of great devotees after escaping from varanavata pandavas came and took shelter of radha desha and they were living in ekachakra dham one day lord balaram the son of rohini appeared in the dream of pandavas and told them very close to radha desh is navadvipa dham and navadvip is the essence of all the holy dhams you must all go there and reside there hearing these words from balaram all the five pandavas came here and they were residing seeing the beauty of this navadvip dham yudhishthira maharaj was captivated he greatly appreciated this dham and he was living doing devotional activities on one occasion Yudhishthira Maharaj had a dream in which Lord Krishna appeared and told him that in the first sandhya of Kali Yuga he will appear in this Navadvipa dham which is very confidential and he will perform sankirtana pastimes saying these words Lord Krishna gave gauranga darshan to Yudhishthira Maharaj and Yudhishthira Maharaj was blessed by Krishna that all the five pandavas will also appear in kali yuga in order to assist shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's pastimes and they will enjoy greatly with chaitanya mahaprabhu in nilachala dham shri chaitanya mahaprabhu told that all five of you will appear as a son of bhavananda rai and you will always be with me in nilachala dham hearing these words yudhishthira maharaj was overjoyed and he was chanting the names of gauranga gauranga he woke up and informed this news to all of his brothers and everybody immediately started singing and dancing the names of krishna gauranga and they were living in this place because they were living here under banyan tree there used to be five banyan trees reminding this past time today there is only one banyan tree for us to come and have darshan in this place of mahatpura in sanskrit mahat refers to a great vaishnava great devotee since yudhishthira maharaj is a mahabhagavata a great vaishnava he is called mahat and all five pandavas are great devotees because they resided in this place of modudruma dwipa this place got the name mahatpura later shila madhvacharya a great acharya vaishnava acharya came here to navadvipa dham this part of modudruma dwipa with his disciples and when he was staying here lord gauranga mahaprabhu with great compassion and mercy appeared in his dream madhvera kariya krupa gauranga sundara with great mercy gauranga sundara wanted to show 
కంపాషన్ అపాన్ శ్రీ మధ్వాచార్య స్వప్న దేఖాయిల రూప అతి మనోహర లార్డ్ కృష్ణ హూ అపియర్డ్ ఇన్ ద డ్రీమ్ ఆఫ్ మధ్వాచార్య రివీల్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ గౌర సుందర బై సీయింగ్ విచ్ మధ్వాచార్య వాజ్ ఇన్ గ్రేట్ ఎక్స్ట్రసీ అండ్ కృష్ణ టోల్డ్ హిమ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ నోస్ దట్ యు ఆర్ మై గ్రేట్ డివోటీ అండ్ యు ఆర్ మై ఇటర్నల్ సర్వెంట్ అండ్ యు ఆర్ స్ప్రెడ్డింగ్ మై హోలీ నేమ్ అండ్ ద తత్వ ఎవ్రీ వేర్ నౌ ఐ వాంట్ యూ టు గో అండ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ అండ్ రివీల్ ద గ్లోరీస్ ఆఫ్ ద శ్రీమూర్తి ద డేటీ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ ఇన్ దిస్ వే యూ స్ప్రెడ్ మై గ్లోరీస్ అండ్ టీచ్ మై ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ టు వన్ అండ్ ఆల్ ఐ విల్ అపియర్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద కలియుగా వెన్ ఐ అపియర్ ఐ విల్ యాక్సెప్ట్ యువర్ సంప్రదాయ యాజ్ మై సంప్రదాయ అండ్ ఐ విల్ యాక్సెప్ట్ యువర్ వర్డ్ ఇట్ అండ్ గ్లోరిఫై యువర్ టీచింగ్స్ సేయింగ్ దిస్ కృష్ణ హూ వాజ్ రివీలింగ్ ఇస్ గౌరాంగ ఫామ్ టు మధ్వాచార్య డిసప్పియర్ మధ్వాచార్య హూ వాజ్ ఇన్ గ్రేట్ ఎక్స్ట్రసీ హూ థ్యాంక్డ్ లార్డ్ కృష్ణ మెనీ మెనీ టైమ్స్ ఆఫర్డ్ వేరియస్ ప్రేయర్స్ ఫర్ ద మర్సీ ఫర్ ద కంపాషన్ విత్ విచ్ Lord Krishna revealed the Gauranga form to Madhvacharya. These are the wonderful pastimes at this sacred place in Modudruma Dvipa called Mahatpura. Let's offer our prayer to Madhvacharya and five Pandavas their blessings so that we always engage in the service of Lord Shri Krishna. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu amalgamated the views of all the previous acharyas in his thesis of Achintya Bheda Bheda Tattva. Achintya Bheda Bheda Tattva refers to the inconceivable oneness and difference of the supreme person and his energies. This is one of the key points of theistic philosophy taught by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. As parts of God's energy We are also equal in quality with God but there's a vast difference in quantity. We are each infinitesimal sparks of spiritual energy and the supreme person Krishna is the infinite supreme source of all energies. The devotee therefore sees everything in this material world as an opportunity to serve the Lord. He does not reject anything as material but dovetails everything in the service of the Lord. Thus, a devotee is always in the transcendental position and everything he uses becomes spiritually purified by being used in the Lord's service. Kyajantu svajana kamaha దేహవృత్తిశ్చ మాస్తువాన్ నవద్వీప సీమాత పదం మే చలతి క్వచిత్ మై ఓన్ పీపుల్ మే అబాండన్ మీ మై బాడీ మే కొలాప్స్ స్టిల్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ టేక్ అ సింగిల్ స్టెప్ బియాండ్ ద బార్డర్ ఆఫ్ నవద్వీప ధామ్ దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ అ డివోటీ ఫీల్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ డూయింగ్ ద పరిక్రమ ఆఫ్ నవద్వీప ధామ్ టుడే వీ వర్ ఫార్చునేట్ to visit the Modudruma Dvipa and hear the pastimes of Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Modudruma Dvipa represents Dasya Bhava. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu prays, Ai nanda tanuja kinkaram patitam vam vishame bhavam budam krupaya tavapada pankaja sthita dhuli sadrushaya. He says, O oh my dear Lord Shri Krishna, I am the most fallen. Please, keep me at your lotus feet like a dust and engage me in the service of your lotus feet let's pray to gauranga mahaprabhu that we are always engaged in the service of the lotus feet of shri krishna chant his holy names of hare krishna mantra and always remember krishna never forget him with this we end today's parikrama thank you hare krishna ఐనందతనుజ కింకరం పతిత 
विषमे भवाबुधो कृपया तव पादपंकज स्थितधूलि सदृश विचित नितय की नाम में न चेरे
जपे चतुर्मुखे रे मधुर ए हरि पे वीणा जंत्रे रे ए नाम नारद जपे वीणा जंत्रे रे ए नाम नारद जपे वीणा जंत्रे रे ए नाम नारद जपे वीणा जंत्रे रे मधुर ए हरि मधुर ए हरि कुंठे गेलो रे ए नाम भाषे अजा मिला वै कुंठे गेलो रे मधुर ए हरि कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 